Welcome back to this week's episode of Munching Malta. So we're here in the beautiful stone city of Valletta. The sun is shining down. People are out there soaking in the sun. They're eating gelato. And we're going down the side streets to find a little cafe called Piadina Cafe. So after you come in the main entrance, you walk all the way up and then you take a right on St. Paul's shipwreck. So the reviews for this place have been amazing. It's a much smaller kind of outdoor cafe vibe, home style Italian. So as always, let's go inside and see what's cooking. So as you can see, it's the most beautiful, small, homely cafe. You order on one side, then you take it outside and sit in these seats here. Or they have a second place where you can go inside and sit inside. But the main thing is that you get to sit out here in the sun with a cappuccino, with a coffee, and a beautiful Italian homemade meal. So the restaurant is named after the Piedina. That is a homemade flatbread. So usually like a wrap with other ingredients inside, or they do a focaccia. So I'm gonna meet the owners, find out what they recommend, and taste it. Yeah, so this is Ian, he's the owner of this beautiful cafe. Do you want to say when it opens, who you are, what you're all about? Well, um, it's been open for 10 years, but um, we took over uh, five years. Five years, five years ago. Specializing in the, the small Italian snacks. Yeah. But um, as time went by, we, we introduced um, healthy foods like, uh, like quinoa. Yeah, of course, yeah, so I see couscous, quinoa, salads, yeah, so you kind of cater for all those areas as well. Yes, yes, oh. the people who work in Valletta. Okay. They come here for a quick event. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you recommend I eat? Um, well, I think you should try the quinoa. Yeah, quinoa. 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 Yeah. So, what do you recommend I eat? Um, I think given the name, it's a TV in the cafe. I, I would go best, for the Piedina. Okay, so I'm going to customize this Piedina and I'll show you when I get it ready. So the one I ordered was the prosciutto crudo, mozzarella and rocket. The difference between the crudo is the raw ham. If you wanted a cooked ham, it would be a prosciutto cotto. So that's the only difference, it's just the Italian words for it. And now, while I wait, I get to sit in the sun on these comfy bean bags and uh, soak it all in. So probably like four minutes later, prosciutto's here ready. So it, essentially, it's like, a, it's like a quesadilla for all the world. It's like a wrap folded over. We have prosciutto, ham, mozzarella, and rocket inside. So without further ado, I'm just gonna dig into this. Mm. Oh my God. So the best thing about this for me is just its simplicity. There's no sauce, there's nothing being used. It's literally fresh wrap. It's extremely thin, so it doesn't overpower it. It's not cloggy, it doesn't, it's not very carby, it's just, it's just a carrier for those flavors on the inside. Prosciutto crudo is extremely salty, it's beautiful, and works extremely well with that cheesy mozzarella that just oozes out of it. And then that layer of shark rocket is perfect. It brings it all together. The main thing is though, it's not over tall, it's not overdone, so it's all fresh, it's all perfect. <laughs> it's all just, it's just a really good meal. Before we leave, I wanna say one final thing. Yeah, obviously, thank you so much. The restaurant, the food, everything is fantastic. One important question, if it was your last day on earth tomorrow, what would your last meal be? Mm, la piadina. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Always plug. So much, have a great day. So, mamma mia, that was bellissimo. Finishing up now, that was another standout place to eat. The reviews absolutely lived up to it. It was nice, very warming place to go to. It's busy, but it's quick, it's small. People sit outside, the atmosphere is amazing. Everyone's just sitting outside enjoying the sun. Some people are drinking beers, drinking coffees, eating focaccia, piedina. And who doesn't love enthusiastic Italians? The prices were amazing. It was only 450 for a meal deal. It's absolutely perfect for this kind of weather. So it fits in perfectly in Malta and these beautiful stone cobbled streets. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are in Valletta, please do call into the Piedina Cafe. Tell them the Fit Kitchen sent you and I'm sure they will look after you. As always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on cooking. Ciao, ciao.